the interest that we pay on national debt is now 6% of GDP. We're also at a deficit of 3% of GDP. This is an unsustainable trajectory because at a certain point, we're going to be spending and printing more than we're producing on a given year annual basis. And so what happens here is as debt increases and interest rates increase, it starts to eat up more and more of the money that we produce goes to financing the debt that exists. As that happens, the consumers of US debt become even more worried that we're going to default on our payments. This is why Moody's just downgraded US credit to like a double A instead of a triple A. And so what happens here is that sentiment worsens. People think that the US debt is no longer good. We're going to default on the debt. Probably not going to happen. I'll explain why. But this is the spiral that tends to take place as interest rates grow up and debt becomes more and more a percentage of our GDP and what we produce. It means more is going to interest and it means that interest rate continues to go up and it spirals and feedback loops one after the other and causes even more of a interest rate increase in the treasury markets, which causes us to pay even more interest on this massive debt. That is the reason Moody's downgraded US debt. The reason why that is basically nonsense and the US credit rating is a special case is because it's almost impossible for the US to default on its debt. 